number seven. Pray with thanksgiving. Pray with thanksgiving. Pray with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the detonator that detonates your prayer in heaven. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 Be anxious for nothing. Full stop. So when you are going to prayer, remove anxiety. Any prayer made with anxiety is not going anywhere. I'm giving you keys to answer it. No, there are some people talking, Papa, eh, the church is back. Papa, eh, eh, eh. Ah. They are trying to transmit the anxiety to me. Pray, pray, Papa, pray. It is bad. It... Then I say, it's okay, I have prayed. Two hours later, Papa, did you really pray? Me, the thing. Hey, hey. Say, Banange, what is your problem? They are trying to, because I'm not acting anxious, they think I am not understanding the seriousness of their situation. But for the prayer I am praying to be answered, I must remove myself from their, their situation. This is why the prayers mostly you make for yourself or for your close relatives are never answered. Because you're too close to this situation. Anxiety is clouding your prayer. Am I talking? That's why it's difficult. You can pray for another person, they'll get healed very quickly, but you pray because you're too close to this situation. And anxiety is making your prayer non effective. Jesus, when he met dead people, the first thing he did was to remove the family from the room. What did he do? They removed the family from the room. Why? Because the family were clouding the atmosphere with the lack of faith. They were too close to this situation. So Jesus said, out, all of you. Peter, come here. John, because Peter and John didn't care about the situation, they could have faith. Am I talking? So this thing of thinking, of praying, panic button prayers to God, it won't work. You must go and settle yourself down somewhere. Is that okay? Make sure all fear and all anxiety is removed from you before you start praying. Otherwise, you're wasting time. If you cannot pray without anxiety, ask another person to pray for you. This is why my prayers for you work and your own for yourself don't work. You're too anxious. When, when are they bringing the answer? When, eh, 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 if I don't get this job, eh, 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 you're too anxious. And then you want to transmit anxiety also down to us. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. So after you put your request, you give, you give thanks. Thanksgiving is an indication that you have received it. Even before you see it. Thanksgiving it's an indication that you have received it even before you see it. I'm not feeling it. Thanksgiving is an indication that you have received it even before you see it. We have two kinds of thanksgiving. The first thanksgiving is the one you give before you see it. As an indication that you have received it. The second thanksgiving is the thanksgiving you give after you have received it because God has done it. The last one. Pray with expectation. Pray with. Say it louder. Say I must pray. I must pray. With, expectation. with expectation. In my heart. In my heart. In my heart. In my heart. The book of Psalms chapter, chapter 62 verse 5. Psalms chapter 62 verse 5. Quickly. Salomos. Chapter 62, verse 5. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from Him.
my soul wait silently for God alone for my expectation is from him your prayer must be made with expectation the Bible says he who comes to God must first believe that he is when you come to God you must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him you must believe that God exists and that if I go to him he will reward me You must believe that God God does what? Yes. And if I go to him, he will reward me. You must believe that God is, that God exists. And if I go to him, he will reward me. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. If you are a righteous, how many righteous people do we have here? Say I am the, I am the righteousness of God. Say I am righteous as God is. If you are righteous, put up your hand. You have been taught well. If you go to one church and make this announcement, how many righteous people do we have here? Nobody will raise a hand. Telling you the truth. Because of religion. They start looking. Let the one who has not sinned be the first to cast the stone. Because they have not been taught well. You have been taught well. You know who you are. Say, I know who I am. I am the righteousness of God. And because of that righteousness, my expectation shall not be cut off. Shall not be cut off. In the middle of battle, God gives you his righteousness. When there's war, God gives you. Isaiah chapter 54 says, I think verse 17, no weapon formed against you. You know this scripture very well, eh? No weapon formed against you, fashioned against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. There's no full stop there. The sentence continues. It says, this is the heritage or the inheritance of the servants of the Lord. Why? Because their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. So the Lord says, when weapons are being formed against you, it is no time to look at you or to judge you. When there's war, it is no time to remember, oh, I am a weak person. I have not done this. I have not done this. God doesn't remember that at that time. If you get a phone call from your child and they stole your car, eh? they did what? They stole your car and they have crashed your car in my mind. You didn't even know they had taken the car. You get the phone call. Say, Papa, I've crashed the car. I'm in my mind. Do you start wondering, hey, come here, explain why you stole the car. What do you do? My boy, my child, what is happening? Crash to the hospital. This is not the time to investigate why you stole the car oh, no this is the time of it is my boy who is in trouble i must remove my boy first we shall deal with these other issues later but now my righteousness his righteousness is of me says the lord so when weapons are being fashioned against you it is no time to examine who you are it is the time god <laughs> it is time the righteousness of god releases righteousness and say that is my boy they cannot be in trouble you tongue rising i condemn you this is then in the house, God will say, hey, but how, how did we get here? But before we investigate how we got here, first of all, God comes in by force and says, no, 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 no. Whatever the case, this is my boy. I am responsible. I am taking care of this case. Mimi talipa insurance, talipa nini, watch Am I talking? This is my boy. My son, you are rushing there. You are not asking, hey, and you are, you are not calling the mother say, your son, look your, what your son has done. God has now caught him. No. You, <laughs> am I talking? You know, sometimes I keep saying, if God loves us, even 50% of the way I love my Uriel, I, there's hope for me. Because I love my son very much. Is that true? If God loves me like that, nobody can convince me it is God who's punishing me. If I'm truly his son, 
It doesn't matter what the boy has done. I will not go saying, uh, bring your honey, I ban them. No. Whoever beats my boy, it doesn't matter what they have done. First of all, I deal with the person. What are you doing to my boy? No, I'm a Vujanini, so what? It's my boy. If you have an issue, talk to me. If you have an issue, don't beat the boy. It's my. Like in your I don't care. He's my boy. You have an issue? You beat my boy, I first beat you. Am I talking? So if God is like this, you'll not watch the devil tormenting you and say, no, you see, you should have uh, performed the subsection four of no, God is not like that. First he kicks the devil. Bah! Am I talking? That's why he says, if any weapon is formed against you, it shall not prosper. If anybody is coming to accuse you before me, that tongue is condemned. After th- Why? Because first of all, my righteousness covers you. Am I okay? I get you out of that situation. Then now we can discuss and say, we need to clean you up. Eh? Am I talking? Say the expectation, the expectation of, the of the righteous shall not be cut off. Shall not be cut off. At this time of prayer, everything you're praying about you shall be delivered to you. I Your expectation shall not be cut off. I in the precious name of Jesus. I in the precious name of Jesus. I in the precious name of Jesus. I you are the righteousness of Jehovah. As you open your mouth to pray, angels are moving everywhere to deliver the word of God in your life. To deliver prosperity in your life. To deliver you from this situation. Every affliction in your life is meeting God today. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. Jesus.